Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Study with Radhika. In this video, we are going to learn the use of repeat block, forever block, and if else block in Scratch programming. So let's begin. First block is repeat block. Here in Scratch editor, first go to the control block from the block palette, drag repeat block to the script area. It is a container script that includes a number of scripts to be used repeatedly. Now go to the motion block and drag and drop here, move 10 steps and again drag, turn to clockwise direction 15 degree and drop here. The repetition of enclosed script take place for the fixed number of time. Here we need to provide a parameter that decided the number of repetition. This illustrates that the action script move 10 step and turn to 15 degrees will repeat 10 times. Let's check the script is working properly or not by clicking on the repeat block. Here on stage clearly you can see the sprite is moving 10 step and turning in 15 degrees in clockwise direction. If you change the parameter in the repeat sprite say 100 times then the repetition will take place for 100 times. Second is forever block. Here first drag when click and go to the motion block. From here drag point in the direction 90. This will make the sprite point in the direction 90 degree means in straight forward direction. Here you can see the output. So our next block is forever script. So go to the control block from here, drag forever block to the script area. It is also a container script that encloses a number of scripts to be repeated. So first do the scripting here by going to the motion block from here, drag move 10 steps and go to the last block if on edge bounds and go to the set rotation style left to right. In this case, the enclosed script will repeat it infinitely unless the stop button is clicked. So let's check. Click on the forever block. Here on the stage, clearly you can see the output. The sprite is moving repeatedly infinitely. Third block is if else block. For that, go to the control block from here the block from the block palette drag if then else to the script area it is a double container script that encloses script in two parts the if else script check a given condition and if the condition is true then it executes the script available in the upper container otherwise the script of the lower container are executed so let's take an example for this go to the operator block from here drag any block suppose for example I drag and drop equal to block here type x here type 5 and go to the motion block from here drag move 10 step and again drag move minus 10 steps here minus 10 step. Now click on the if then else block and check the output. Here script of the lower container are executing because the first condition is false so it's executing the lower container script. Let's see again like this it's moving backward direction by minus 10 step. So the next point is planning an animation. Before creating an animation, you need to plan how to create it. You must keep the following points in mind while preparing the blueprint of your animation. The first point is type of backdrop designs to be added on the stage. Second point is the types of sprite appearing on the stage. Third point is the different costume to be added for sprites and backdrops. Fourth point is any comment or message for the action of the sprites. Fifth point is 
types of moment to be created among the sprites. Sixth point is an extra feature that can be added to produce real time animation. So now let's take an example by keeping these all points in our mind. First here, right click on the script area and clean up. So all blocks will organize in sequence. Suppose here in scratch editor, I want to write a scratch program to fly the aeroplane with the phrase nice riding. So the script will be First of all, delete this one. First, change the backdrop of the stage by clicking on choose backdrop from library. From here, choose the blue sky because in our scene, the blue sky is necessary. Now, the cat sprite, we don't need to so, click on the delete button and delete the cat. Choose the another sprite. So, click on the choose sprite from library. Here, click on the airplane, click on OK. The airplane will appear here. So, according to the stage, adjust the airplane where you should want. Like this, click on the sprite airplane, click on the sprite airplane, and here go to the block event. From here, drag and drop when green black click because earlier also I told you that we have to give some instructions to our computer perform some actions. So drag the when green flag click, then go to the control block. From here, drag forward block. Now go to the motion block. From there, take move 10 steps and go to the look block. From here, drag say hello. Instead of hello, type here nice riding. like this and then again go to the motion block and from here drag point in the direction 90 and now click on the green flag you will see output on the screen if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you